Hi guys, welcome to Renee's Masterclass. My name is Taranum Khan, professional makeup artist. We are doing a series of various bridal looks and today we are going to be creating a western bridal look. We are going to be using Renee's nude hour eyeshadow palette. So the first step as always is prepping the skin. I am going to be using Renee's illuminating primer. It's moisturizing, it gives a nice glow to the skin, it's not very sticky and anti-aging because it has got hyaluronic acid. I like to apply my skincare with my fingers. I start with center of the face. Every time you apply your skincare, ensure it's nicely massaged into the skin. There, her skin is nicely prepped now. Now we'll move on to the complexion. We'll start with foundation. For foundation, we'll use the cream latte. It's extremely pigmented, it's full coverage, and it's a matte finish. Make sure you always give a good shake to your foundation. I like to take a little on the back of my hand. And I've literally taken one pump. If we need more, we can always add more. We'll be using the foundation brush. Again, my favorite brush because of the shape. It's nicely dense, helps in uh, blending and buffing the foundation. So I'm just going to apply the foundation first. I like to go with a smaller brush closer to the eyes. Starting from center of the face, we'll take it outward and then we'll just buff it out. I don't like to go with my foundation too close into the hairline because then it becomes very obvious that you've overloaded the skin with foundation. You can apply this foundation with a brush, with uh, a sponge, the tool is your choice. But I would highly recommend the foundation brush. We'll apply a little bit of the foundation on the neck as well, very little so that everything looks seamless and even. Chin up. We just have to make sure everything is seamless and push the product in. I think we are good with foundation. Let's move on to concealer. She's has got fairly great skin, not too many dark spots, so we'll need very little of concealing for her. So for concealing, I'm using the shade Maple. As I said before, I'm using it more for uh, brightening her face. So I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'll take the small brush. This is R7. I'm going to start with the inside corner of her eye. Again, not going too close to the lash line because we don't want to make the eyes look really small. And we're, any which we're going to be applying eyeshadow close to the lash line. Very little on the tip of the brush and we'll just brighten the outside corner of her eye. We'll use very little around her mouth. She doesn't really need much. And in the process, if there are any spots that I see, I'm going to be correcting that as well. So I think we will stop here as far as the base is concerned and we'll, let's just go powder it and move on with the next. To powder her face, I'm going to be using the Face Base Compact in the shade Cashew Beige. And I'm using the brush R2. Just going to tap the product, tap off the excess. Look up for me. I'm just pressing the product powder to set everything. I'm not really swiping it too much. We'll set the foundation that we put on her neck. And we've just mattified 
everything. I've left the lids, eyelids as it is because once we start with the eye makeup, that's when I'm going to go in with uh, the eye base and take it forward from there. Let's move on to giving some definition to the face since we've applied the base. I'm going to be using the compact and shade Walnut Beige. It's a nice, uh, slightly warm brown tone. Press the product. I'm going to take off the excess. And I'm just going to be placing it close to her cheekbones. We're just going to be adding some depth and definition and bronzing up her face. I'll add the same product onto her jawline, starting from under the ears, moving straight down. And to make it seem seamless, you can just, whatever is left, drag down. It will just add a very natural shadow to her face. I'm just going to define her the bridge of her nose ever so lightly. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, R7, and it's the same compact very little and I'm just defining the bridge area. I'm not really going to go right down till the tip of her nose. Okay, that's a nice soft bronze contoured look that we have now. We'll stop here and let's move on to blush. For blush, I will use the peachy pink blush duo. It has got two lovely colors going on here. I think I'm going to mix both the colors. I'm using the same brush, the R2 brush. I'm applying the blush to the high point of the cheekbone and then I'm swiping it down to the apple of the cheek. I'm not going to take any more but whatever is left, I'm just going to take it around the nose, a little bit on the chin, just so everything looks nicely tied in. I think that's looking lovely. Let's move on to the eye makeup. Moving on to the eyes, first I'll just gently powder her eyelids with the compact, the same one that I used on her face, cashew beige. So I'll take very little just to take away the oils. Close your eyes for me. I'm using the R5 brush. So for eyes, I'm actually trying something different. I am using a beautiful liquid matte lipstick. It's the line is called Stay With Me and the shade is Craving For Coffee. So I'm going to take a little, very little on the back of my hand. I'm using the angular brush R10, dipping the tip and now I'm going to use this like an eyeliner. I'm just going to apply very close to the lash line. You don't have to be perfect with this because very quickly we are going to blend it out. And because it is a matte lipstick, you just have to make sure you blend it very, very quickly. Otherwise, it will set. I quite like to use a product in different ways. End of the day, it's makeup, it's going on face, so what can go on your eyes can go on your lips, what goes on your lips can go on your eyes. I'm dipping the tip of my brush, starting on the center and gently blending everything. We just want a very gentle wash and gradient. So we've got a nice little wash. I think I'm going to intensify it ever so slightly. Always better to go with little and keep building up. Taking the tip of my brush. And almost smoking it out. Always step back and check for balance. Yeah, I think it looks lovely. Now we're going to repeat the same process on the lower lash line. So again, a little bit. And I'll first start by placing the product only on the outside corner of the lower lash line. 
So it's literally there. And then I'm going to blend it all inward. And really you can drag it down as much as you like. You want it to be more dramatic, you can take it lower, as smoky as you like. So this is really a version of a smoky eye, more like a monochrome eye. Also a tip when you're doing a smoky eye, just keep on blending. Nothing should really seem sharp and nothing should seem graphic. We'll move on to our uh, nude hour eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this color here and I'm just going to be using it on the periphery where the color is the lightest. So look up for me. And the same thing on the upper lid. I'm going in into her crease and just blending everything out. So we'll move on to the the bronze gold color here. I'm going to be taking it on my finger very, very little. It has a beautiful color payoff. And I'm going to be applying this more towards the inside corner of the eye. Blending off the edges. I'm going to be repeating this on the lower lash line. I'm going to take one angular brush, very, very little product and I'll almost take off the excess on my hand. And we're just going to add a little bit on her lower lash line on the inside corner so that everything looks tied in. Look up for me. Then with a small buffing brush, I'm just going to blend it all. I think that looks lovely. It's very nice and soft. We can add another dimension on the outer corner with a slightly warmer color. I'll be using the Naughty Hour shadow palette and very, very little of the darker color here. It's more of a red undertone, so I need very little. And I'm literally just placing this on the outside V. And I'm blending it out. Okay, we're done with her eye makeup. We will be moving on with lash application on her. And I've chosen this set of lashes. They're called the Sasha Blink Eyelashes. Now our model here, she's got slightly small hooded eyes. So I do not, also she has beautiful long lashes. So while she has beautiful long lashes, I think we should let that be and not you know, hide that with another pair of strip lashes. But what I would like to do is use the Sasha lashes. I'm going to cut just the outside corner and place uh, the strip lash, corner of the strip lash only on the outside edges of her lashes. So that way it's all going to look very nice and seamless and won't make it look too heavy and won't make her eyes appear more hooded. And we are just going to be using the outside portion of the lash. We are not going to be using this entire thing. You can cut your strip lashes and that doesn't mean that this entire portion has gone waste. You can save it and you can use that again on outside corners of your eye for another occasion. So that's a great thing. So I'm just placing it on the outside corner. Let it sit there. Just air it a bit. It's very common when you apply a glue for the lashes to get stuck. So you just have to pull the lashes apart and then we will fix it in place. So we're done with her eye makeup. I think she's looking lovely. It's nice and soft. Let's move on to her lips. We are going uh, with the same uh, tone. We are sticking to peaches and corals and we'll try and do a very soft peachy mouth on her. So for lipsticks, I'm using this pack 5 nude. So this, this is a stack of five different colors, beautiful nudes, different tones going on here. But here you're getting five different shades in one. So I'm using the second shade here. You're just going to pull this out, push this down. And you have an entirely new shade of lipstick.
I think we've got a nice soft mouth here for the lipstick. Now we'll just add a little bit of gloss. I will use this shade called Pakara Peach. I'm using it pretty much all over her lip. <coughs> I think we've got a nice soft peachy mouth here. So for her highlight, I will go back to the Nude Hour eyeshadow palette and I'm going to mix these two colors. I'm going to mix it first at the back of my hand. Once I've got the mix, I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and blend it with a brush. Just onto a high point. There you go. We've kept it all very soft. I think our Western bride is ready here, looking lovely. Now that she's fully ready, we know everything is done. Let's use a makeup fix on her. The setting spray, especially for brides, I would always use setting spray for any occasion. If I'm wearing makeup, I'd like to keep it long and keep things in place, add a little bit of dewiness to the face. So makeup fix always. Make sure you keep it away and at an angle. And the bride is ready and set for her wedding. And there we have a beautiful blushing bride. You saw how easy it was for us to achieve this western bridal look using Rene Cosmetics. If you've liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned because we have many more brides coming up in this series. Thank you so much. This is Taranum Khan signing off.